Good afternoon. My name is Alina Shartsova. I am an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's live Facebook presentation, I would like to provide you with very important update regarding public charge rule. You may have heard that recently United States Supreme Court allowed the rule promoted by the Trump administration to be implemented, to go into effect. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of the rule and what happened. Basically, the public charge rule of, as a ground of inadmissibility has been in the United States laws for years. But previously, until recently, it has been satisfied when a person, uh, an immigrant, would show uh, somebody who is applying for a green card, would present an affidavit of support by the petitioner. And usually it would be a family member in the United States. If the family member would not have sufficient income, um, then the showing would be satisfied by a joint sponsor, joint sponsor's income. And previously, um, most forms of Medicaid would be excluded as a benefit that would prohibit somebody from coming um, or becoming legal in the United States. The current administration decided to change that. They announced a change to the rule in uh, August of 2019 saying that starting from October 15, 2019, new regulations would come into effect that would concern almost all petitions um, by people who would like to receive a green card in the United States or would like even to change status or extend their status in the United States, non-immigrant status. Of course, the rule was not met well in the legal community. There was a lawsuit. According to that lawsuit, a federal judge stayed the implementation of the rule, implementation of the rule, and the rule was stayed, meaning that it would it was not going into effect, and the petitions that were filed and applications that were filed while the rule was stayed would not be uh, scrutinized and according to that rule would not be considered, would not be checked if the rule uh, was met or not. But on January 27, 2020, the United States Supreme Court stated that the Trump administration can go ahead and apply the rule. What would that mean? It means that the new rule affects almost all applications for the United States benefits in the United States, with the most popular one, adjustment of status based on family-based petitions. Now, when you file the case, you have to make sure that the beneficiary is not likely to become a public charge or has not become a public charge. And what they're looking for is not likely to become a charge, a test that uses a totality of the circumstances, uh, beneficiary's age, health, family situation, basically how many children they have, I guess, uh, education, uh, how likely it is if they would be employed in the United States and working in the United States, supporting themselves. And then they see if the person has become a public charge. What do they look there? Well, here they're going to be looking at the receipt of those public benefits. And uh, public benefits in this situation will include most forms of Medicaid. Emergency Medicaid is, exclu is excluded, so would be excluded the benefits received by children under 21, pregnant women, and women who gave birth within 60 days after the, uh, the delivery, those benefits would be excluded. But all other benefits, SNAP, housing assistance, cash assistance, if the person was receiving those benefits for a prolonged time and they're looking at the past three years, uh, and if the benefits were received for 12 months, the person will be found to ha, uh, has become a public charge and they will be inadmissible. They will not receive a green card, okay? So they stated, uh, USA has stated in their uh, recent release that they will be applying this rule to the petitions and applications that are going to be filed starting on and after Octo uh, February 24, 2020. So now you have about 24 days to file your case if you do not want to be uh, scrutinized under this rule, it's very, very important. 
Why? Because first of all, it's going to be a new ruling. We do not know how hard they're going to go after the people, right? What, what, what they're going to do? Um, according to the information that I received from uh, from uh, lawyers um, uh, talking to USCIS, um, they stated that benefits in New York, like essential plan, should not be considered to be that benefit that's going to um, basically take you over the line when you're going to be recognized as a public charge. But remember, most forms of Medicaid will be that um that problem that will cause that problem so um my best advice would be to basically review the situation very carefully before you're going to be filing your case not to waste your filing fees and not to to get yourself into another situation the problem is is that on the deportability standard there is a public charge um ground for deportability as well which I believe the administration is currently is trying to uh, construe or um, basically um, use it against people in the same very way, in very similar situation, okay? So not only the person will not get a green card, the person can get deported if they were found to, um, if they were found to, uh, to have become a public charge. So that's the very important update for now. Another very important situation is that the lawsuit itself that challenges the rule is still going on. It's just that the rule was allowed to continue while it's still going on. It means that there is, there is a chance that um, the rule may be canceled, even though I personally believe there is a very small chance uh, uh, about that. I hope that the rule may be, benef uh, may be uh, modified to exclude health insurance because basically it forces uh, immigrants to stay without health insurance and specifically here there is a problem of, of uncertainty because the rule states if the program is partially funded by the federal government it will cause a person to become uh, to, to become a public charge and many programs are partially uh, funded by the federal government so we will see what eventually they're going to be talk, uh, what eventually they're going to do about that how they're going to do because in what from I don't have any official statistics on public benefits but what I believe um, the problem that many immigrants may have in the United States because United States by itself does not really provide a lot of public benefits like some uh, European countries. It's a health insurance. So we have to have very clear guidelines as to which forms of health insurance, especially because under Obamacare there are so many of them now, like essential plan, various levels of it, which forms would be a problem. And as I said, as of now, they say that essential plan will not be. And that's something that is uh, widely used in New York at least. So this is an important update for now. Um, you can read more about specific benefits to which forms the um, a public charge rule uh, will be applied on our website www.shaltsova.com. Thank you.